It's estimated that almost one and a half million Australians eligible to vote who are not yet on the roll. So the equivalent of a third of New South Wales nationally aren't on the roll. Get Up says its barristers will be arguing that the laws the then coalition government put in place three years ago to change enrolment procedures from seven days to one are unconstitutional. Look, it's a difficult case, but the authority that was established by the prisoner's case has opened the door and we're in with a good chance. Hi, I'm Shannon. Hi, I'm Doug. And we're two plaintiffs in a High Court case that are representing around 100,000 Australians who missed the chance to vote this year. The High Court have decided that this case has merit, that is of, all, that is of fundamental importance and that it's urgent. And so they've suggested now, or, or therefore decided, uh, that the full bench of the High Court, the extraordinary thing, the full bench of the High Court will sit at 10.15am next Wednesday. Chief Justice French has said uh, on behalf of the seven judges that they will likely give judgment tomorrow on August the 6th, the Friday. Uh, that will allow Roe and Thompson, the two plaintiffs, plus the other 100,000 people behind them, um, an ability to vote at the election on August the 21st. In just a few minutes, we'll find out the decision of the full bench of the High Court of Australia. There are 100,000 people around the country who are waiting on this decision. But win or lose, we've done a really extraordinary thing.